Hey guys, bringing you a do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I have a Toshiba laptop here, and I'm gonna be showing you how to deal with the issue if you're getting a battery error. Uh, battery won't charge error, 0% available, plugged in not charging, battery not detected, any sort of errors like that, I'll, I'll, I'll show you what to do. Uh, with that. If you have any questions or comments through this process, if something's not going like you thought it would, um, check the frequently asked questions below in the description. Uh, see if it can save you some time getting answers. And if you need to leave me a comment, uh, I do try to get back to you at least a couple times a day. Um, so first thing you want to do while we have your computer on is run your updates. Um, about 10% of the time, this is the the cause so so not a lot, but it's very easy to do go down in your search bar down here type in updates uh, Check for updates will pop up under system settings click on that and Then it'll say you're up to date never believe it uh, manually hit check for updates and those updates will populate if, if you have any updates um, Keep in mind if, if a lot of updates do pop up stay on it um, it, it may take a while for the updates to go through, especially if you just installed Windows a little while ago or if the computer's new. Uh, you may have to restart several times based on what it tells you to do. Um, j just keep an eye on it. If you run the updates and, and those errors haven't gone away, try this. Go down here in the search bar, type in device manager. And that, that'll pop up device manager in, in the control panel. So click on that. So up top here on, on, under batteries, expand that list. And then Microsoft AC adapter. What you're gonna wanna do is right click and hit uninstall device. And then it'll ask you to confirm, confirm uninstall, then restart your computer. When your computer restarts and signs on with Wi-Fi automatically, that driver will then reinstall and, and update if, if it needed to. Uh, so those are the two quick things you, you can try. If neither one of those worked, Try doing what we call a static discharge. So shut your computer down. You may have seen this on several other videos I have. Also, if you call into like a warranty helpline, uh, this is the first test they'll have you do for, for a variety of problems. But shut your computer down, unplug your charger, and if you have a removable battery, which this computer does not, uh, if you have a removable battery, flip your computer over it and remove it. Um, if you want to get really hardcore and you have an internal battery, um, open up your computer and take the battery out. Let it sit for about a minute. After that, plug your charger in, put your battery back in, and start your computer up. Sometimes that'll help as well. Those are all kind of light fixes that it could be, but it's not likely that those are the issues. Honestly, on the majority of the time you're getting these errors, your battery is just bad. Um, they have a shelf life, batteries do go bad. And depending on your usage, and if you leave your computer plugged in all the time, your battery could go bad f fairly quickly. Um, so if, if it's your battery, uh, go out and purchase a new one. If you buy them on Amazon or eBay, you can get a genuine Toshiba one with the return policy, just in case that doesn't turn out to be the issue. Um, also, what you can do is make sure that your charger is rated correctly. So this is my charger for this computer that I just pulled out from another computer. Uh, it's a genuine OEM Toshiba charger, and it came with the computer. But just to double check, right down here on the computer, it says DC 19 volts, 2.37 amps. Make sure that matches with your charger, 19 volts, 2.37 amps. If, if your charger is rated under what the computer is requiring, at most, or sorry, at best, you'll be getting lower performance. If your charger is rated higher than the computer's asking, at worst you'll be damaging your computer. So make sure that these line up. And if they do line up, and you want, and it's still not working, uh, look below in the description it's for a video where I show you how to test this adapter to make sure that it, even though it says it's rated correctly, that it's putting out a constant correct voltage for your computer. And then if that checks out, double check your power jack. Uh, there'll be another video link in the description to double check you, your power jack as well. So, and, and then keep in mind as well, if your computer is stopping charging at a high percentage, like 90, 95%, that could be by design. 
a lot of newer computers will stop charging that much to prolong the life of your battery. Um, so hopefully with all these solutions, you did find one that helped your issue. Uh, leave a comment below if you had any questions. I'll get back to you a couple times a day. Uh, like and share if this was helpful. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer repair, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.